Well, it's always a delight to follow Italian football. Martin Tyler here with you again. Alan Smith is with me again. And we have Calcio our football for you. And here for you today, Juventus playing today against Genoa. An opportunity to see how far Juventus have come. What a great chance for them. This set of players, top of the table at this stage in the season. They've produced some good football over the course of the last few months and do a bit more of the same now and they'll probably be there. Gonzalo Higuain, still a player who attracts a lot of publicity and can get match-winning goals, can't he, at any level. Two in his previous match. A clear danger man for the opposition. The Juventus lineup there. Gigi Buffon plays in goal. Leonardo Bonucci starts with Giorgio Chiellini as the centre backs. Milan Pjanic starts with Sami Khedira in the middle. In attack, Gonzalo Higuain starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. Let's check now on Genoa and their team lineup today. Well, three at the back. That's the first thing that catches the eye. What about the rest of the team? Well, it looks to be a 3 4 3. You certainly don't see it that often. And when it works, it can catch the opposition off guard, really. It can be a really awkward shape to contend with. Well, definitely a step in the right direction for Juventus to come to a stadium that has much more intimacy. I think everybody felt the old uh, Stadio della Alpi was uh, very uh, cavernous and not very welcoming. No, I, I played there against Torino once for Arsenal. It wasn't particularly atmospheric. It was like a morgue at times. You're so far away from the fans, but uh, this is much more like it, isn't it? And uh, it's always full. They've got such a following, Juventus. Lazovic. There's some potential in this move. Made the challenge well. The shot's on. And the goalkeeper with a textbook save and keeps the ball in his grasp. Promising build-up until that challenge. Oh, it could be dangerous. He's got support here. Defender to it first. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Higuain on the attack. Working hard just to see... Maybe a sight of goal. Damn it! You can see the deflection there. Corner. working away to try and find an opening. He could lay it off to the supporting player. Miralem Pjanic. Shot on! Couldn't keep it down. Attacking now Juventus. Well, I don't know who the lad saw there passing the ball. Somebody in the crowd, maybe. Palladino. Very good passing from this team. Building steadily here, keeping possession. There goes the cross. And the ball goes out for a goal kick.
into the attacking third. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. Well, that's always the goalkeeper's ball and a simple catch as much as anything is simple in this game. Cuadrado. Attacking now. To take the lead. And they've scored! And the first goal will be such a boost to them. And he couldn't have took that in the bottom left any more accurately and hit with real power. Well, let's take another look at the goal. So the first goal, it's 1-0. He's coming forward with some danger. Here comes the cross. And it was a cross that he got in quickly, but he didn't really control. Cuadrado. Gonzalo Higuain. This might be it! Higuain! The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. And he keeps possession with that header. Doing well to keep the ball. Higuain. And on the back of a truly fantastic season, the Juventus really have raised the bar, particularly for their own supporters. And they're probably not over content with the way the team have played in front of them today but there's plenty of time in the second half for them to produce their very best that's cut out now Danny Alves Tibala Higuaí well the signal's gone up for two minutes Juventus on the attack Now Danny Alves, nicely played through ball. He could do a better cross than that, I think, and it was easy to cope with. Well, the referee has signaled for half-time, and it's 1-0 here. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Juventus a half-time lead, but it doesn't guarantee anything. Nice interplay between the two of them. Dybala. Great passage of passing play there. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. That attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. And he's treaded the path through neatly. Shots on here. At full extension, the goalkeeper makes the save. With this goal advantage, they've now got a corner. And in goes the cross. That well, was a good crossing position, but not a good cross. There's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. Pinilla. Sammy Kadira. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. They're grateful for that, to have an intervention 
like that and get back on the ball when they're defending so much. Leonardo Bonucci. Miralem Pjanic. And it's been an hour of very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go and I'm sure we're going to enjoy that as well. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. Through pass. Well, they're good at corners. Let's see what this one brings. Well, the losing team have got to do something, and this is it, the substitution. Played into the middle. They cope with it well defensively. Oh, he's put it into his own net. Well, it is a goal. It is an own goal. I don't think there's much doubt about that, Alan. No, none at all. You're in those positions so often, and sometimes it does go wrong. Bad enough to be behind now, but to do it with an own goal is particularly annoying for the team and the player in question. Here's Veloso. We've got the away manager indicating he wants to make a sub. Paladino! And this is a goal! He's kept his shot down, and he's got a goal to show for it. Well, they were caught out here by this quick counter-attack against the run of play. Yeah, I mean, they had to uh, stick together there and come under a lot of pressure, but with the pace in the team, that was always likely. It's going to be two changes here. The manager deciding to make a, quite a drastic switch. And we restart the game 2-1. 20 minutes now remaining. Marquisio. Kibala. Here's Alexandro. And attacking now Juventus. Big way! Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Lazovic. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Mandzukic, Higuain, Munoz. Much happier times for Juventus these days. Fantastic Serie A triumph in the 11-12 uh, season. And they're building on that and looking extremely good here with a very controlled performance. Keepers ball. Leonardo Panucci. Mario Marquisio attacking now. Looking to play his teammate through. Here's a chance! And it's in for the goal! And they are really bossing the game now. Came close to goalkeeper, actually did get a touch on it. But I think it was a pretty good effort to do that much. Well beaten, really. Yeah, I don't think you can blame the keeper, Martin. 
he's looking at his defenders. Why was the lad given so much space? Three one the scoreline as we restart the game, and the player replaced is Danny Alves. Good position here. Lazovic. Defender to it first. Paladino. He wants to play on the shoulder of the last defender. He's just got to get it right. It's all about timing. Doesn't need to go as soon as he did there. Asamoa. Juventus have got the win here. Well, they always say it doesn't matter who scores the goal. And I suppose that's even more applicable when it's an own goal. Yeah, you take what you can get, don't you? Because it will be on, the shoe will be on the other foot at some stage, and uh, they'll be delighted with that. Well, I think he was the best performer in a good team today. Oh, lots of energy, lots of quality, and a good goal, along with plenty of chances.